Last year, I kind of stopped making videos on YouTube. I got so caught up in making everything perfect that it became impossible to be happy with anything. Over the next 25 days, we're going back to the basics, behind the scenes GoPro travel videos. We'll be traveling from Japan to Hawaii to LA, Vegas, Miami, Bahamas and Havana, all to create a new show for the Nikon Z series. The official show will be out in March, but join us here every day to see what we get up to. Don't forget to turn the bell on. How are you enjoying Havana so far, Marshall? I'm not the guy to ask that to. It's interesting. All right, we're coming back to Florida tonight when the sign lights up because it's going to be a really nice shot. It's a rain day, which means it's daiquiri day. This is Tim, videotaping some water. Keep up the good work, buddy. What's the inspiration behind this shot? Uh, moisture and wetness. Moisture and wetness, beautiful. This is the transmitter we're using. Sennheiser, what's the product name of this? Marshall's a Sennheiser wrap. XSW Digital. That's it. I have one too. It's in my pocket. Digital. And it digitally transmits. It recharges on USB digital C. waves. To Tim, so he can hear me. This is an one. audio technician's knob. It keeps your cable uh, safe. <laughs> Tim's led us to this tiny cafe. 
here in the streets of Havana. This guy's an ice cream man, but all he brings is pizzas and maybe frittatas. Pizza Dickie D would work at Daiquiri? No, 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 I'm cut off. Aw, Tim left with my camera. This is a great photo. <laughs> All right, on here I have the 14 to 30 S lens, and it's very wide. And I'm going to take a picture of this because it looks really interesting and the light is really good. Right, Tim? Yeah, man. Whoa, there's no lens cap. I'll take my fingerprints off of that. We're gonna do some serious correction for the perspective distortion in post. As well as the lighting because the light starts very bright and by the time it gets to the street it's very dark. A little bit of lightroom work, but other than that, it's a good photo. One of the tips I have for shooting with a super wide angle lens is to actually get as high as you can with it because if you're shooting from ground level you're gonna make everything look pretty crazy. But if you're up here, it's a little a little better. Still have to do some work in post-production if you can't get far enough away and zoom in, but by shooting super wide and getting up a little bit, you remove a little bit of that distortion. Let's go.